Tracking your wellness habits can be a challenge, especially if there's 12 of them. So I've devised a tool that can help you keep your habits and in turn your blood pressure in check. Hi there, I'm Kim from the blog queenofheartsclub.com. I've spent the past year experimenting with ways to lower my blood pressure through habit formation. In 2021, I lowered my blood pressure from an average of 154 over 105 to an average of 125 over 74 naturally without the use of medication. In 2022, I'm making one video per week every Sunday to show you exactly how I did that. So join me as I continue to explore the benefits of heart-healthy food, wellness habits, and joyful living. If you've watched my videos about the habits that I formed in 2021 in order to lower my blood pressure, then you know there's a lot going on. I use the rule of three a lot. So multiply that by 12, carry the one, contemplate the discrete math class I had to take in college. It adds up to a lot. For this reason, by the end of the year, I decided I needed an easy way to track these habits because the goal of the whole experiment was to easily incorporate these habits into my life in a very sustainable way. And I know myself. I know if the habit or the process in which I'm implementing these habits is not simple, I will not continue to do that. So I had to make this as easy as possible for myself, for my own sanity. So I created a habit tracker. So I've used bullet journals and habit trackers in the past, and I really love the very analog method of checking something off physically, you know, filling in a box, visibly seeing your progress. So right now I'm gonna share that habit tracker with you so that if you'd like, you can download this from my website and use it for yourself. So this is my habit tracker. Now, I have a bit of a different one that I have in my uh, planner that I've been using since the beginning of January. It's a little bit different from this one. Uh, what I've done is I have made some improvements along the way as I was recording my data so that um, I could offer a better product to you guys. So I'm going to add a link to this version of the planner in the description box below so that you can go ahead and download the PDF of this for free if you'd like to print it out and use it for your own needs. So basically what I've done is I've started um, in January and I have of course every month on here and I have all of the weeks. I've divided everything out into individual weeks so that um, I'm tracking small portions of data. So for the month of January, the plan, the habit for the month of January is yoga, right? So I have yoga highlighted in red for January. So the idea behind this is in 2021, I implemented the yoga habit in January, uh, and then I continued to implement habits along the way. But for this year, since I've already implemented all of those habits, all I have to do is refocus on these habits this year. So in the month of January, I'm refocusing on doing yoga. Uh, and so basically the idea is to fill in that box, give it a check mark, exit out, whatever you want, um, and just help you stay on track with that particular goal. So as you can see, I have a yoga habit for January. I don't have anything for February because February is eliminating sugar from your diet. So the lack of something in your life is not exactly something you can live for. So I didn't put that on here. Um, and in March, I've got meditation and an April tea and so on. So um, another thing that I put on this habit tracker is over here on the right, I have a place for you to record your blood pressure on a weekly basis. So I record my blood pressure every Monday morning before I do anything else. Uh, and I take three readings and I take a different arm every week. Um, I rotate. Uh, and then I take the average of those three readings and record it for the week. 
And then, of course, I take an average for the month as well, based on this recording. So here is a place where you can record your data uh, just so you can keep it handy. And this would become a great visual for you. Like if you, for instance, had pretty low um, blood pressure in January, then you would know that's because you were focusing on yoga in January and so forth. If meditation March happens and your blood pressure tends to be very low, you know that incorporating meditation into your life actually works really well for your particular body. This is all about experimenting with ways that work for you. So now I'm going to show you how I use mine. And I've been using this since the beginning of January. As you can see, this one looks very different from the one I just showed you because um, it doesn't have all the beautiful colors and it doesn't have the uh, side over here where I can record my blood pressure. Um, like I said, I've been making improvements, putting that on the PDF, but I haven't really improved those here. Um, so as you can see, I've just been using um, an X to check off things. And, and as you can see, I'm a lot better about checking off the things on this side of the list. Uh, and that's just because the beginning of the year, the things that I implemented were um, a bit more difficult. Um, and so in the latter half of the year, the things that I implemented, the habits that I incorporated into my life were easily incorporated and um, that's become pretty routine for me. So it's not even really that big of a deal to do those. Um, so mainly I've got this habit tracker going so that I can record these pieces of data. Um, now, one thing I will mention is that um, in January and February, I didn't really implement this in the way that I should have. Um, I was busy getting this YouTube channel together, working towards some other projects. I do still have a full-time job. so. Um, I have other things going on in my life, but I decided uh, in February is when I decided I would actually um, recommit myself to these goals that I implemented last year and re start recording the data again and just make sure that I'm able to continue with my blood pressure goals. So as I said in February, I didn't record anything that was um, removing sugar from my diet. In the month of March, um, you can see I highlighted that in red. Um, it's much prettier on this sheet highlighted in red. <laughs> um, but I didn't have that idea until after I taped this into my planner. Um, but you can see uh, I'm focusing on meditation in the month of March. I've done one meditation this week, and it was really interesting, actually. So let me talk a little bit about refocusing. On these goals because um, if you if you watched my 12 habits videos you know that March meditation March is a very difficult one for me I actually um, have a hard time relaxing and so uh, that's always been something that I'm less likely to do so this month Deciding to refocus on that meditation, I, the first time that I sat down to actually meditate, because you can see I've been meditating up here a little bit as well, but I haven't been using the Harmony app for that. Now, the Harmony app is great because it has a um, hypnosis component that really helps to sort of get your body into relaxation mode. And so this meditation here I did with the Harmony app and it was a really interesting exercise because I had forgotten exactly how deep into that meditation I could get exactly how much relaxation could come out of that now the Harmony app has meditations with a wake-up version and without a wake-up version I always use the without wake-up because I feel like if I go into that meditation and I fall asleep then uh, that was meant to be that I needed that sleep. So, um, and I, it's always easier for me to wake up than it is to sleep. So um, I always do that and it always is very nice. And then when I wake up or come out of that meditation, uh, I feel so refreshed. And then in April, drinking tea is an important part of my life. Um, but of course I'm doing that here. 
as well. So I had the meditation. I had a wonderful meditation. I really sunk deeply into it, which is not going to happen every time. But it's important to have that moment because I had forgotten that those things happened. And so it was important for me to have that moment and remember exactly why I'm doing the meditation in the first place. And then I had a lovely cup of tea afterwards and relaxed even further into the moment. And it was fantastic. And that's something that I somehow forgot about in the time that I haven't really been working on the meditation. So refocusing on a goal is very important because it brings you back to what you love about it and why it's necessary and why you implemented it in the first place. So one of the things that I will say is it's good to maybe do three of these a day, stick with the rule of three. If you do three of them a day, you get through the week, you've got plenty done. Um, or do them, you know, come up with your own ways of doing it. Let me know. Give me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And let me know if you've devised your own methods of making this work for you. So that's my habit tracker. Um, like I said, it is linked in the box down below uh, so that you can download it for free. If you'd like to see any improvements to it, let me know. Totally willing to take that constructive criticism. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did make it this far, please consider leaving a like, uh, a thumbs up down below. It really helps the channel with the YouTube algorithm. If you'd like to see more, I do one video every Sunday on heart healthy foods, wellness habits, and joyful living. It's all about trying to keep your blood pressure under control for me. Um, it's all about uh, coming up with ways to make this easier on all of us. So let's get together and make that happen. I'll see you next week.